All right, so I figured I'd do a uh, walk-in cooler update. Everything's pretty well done. It's gonna do kind of a final walkthrough on everything, what all I've done. Anyway, I got my air conditioner installed. This is in my garage. It's detached from the house. Preferred to have it in here versus outside, kind of exposed to the weather. Figured the longevity, uh, being outside the elements, sun, weather, and all that stuff would increase the lifespan on that uh built built this door myself i got a latch upper and lower you know section little handle on here um what i did on this door i ripped two by fours down to two and a half inches there's some foam board inside there and it's strengthened with uh three quarter inch uh supports on both sides of that foam board uh I did caulking all the way around, sealed it up, screwed it in tight. And then uh, on this side, I taped everything up. Uh, everything turned out great on the door the way I wished it would. Um, up here, I've got a little spring that I'll hook to it. And it's just screwed into the wall there. I got my little piece of PVC pipe. Then I notched it out to where it would fit, so whenever I open and close the door, it rubs on that instead of the wall. That's how tight of a fit I got. I had just a little touch of a little sunlight, daylight, whenever I was in here in the dark. So I took a piece of that foam, did the aluminum taping on it, and then pulled it closed. The uh, two by fours that I ripped down, I kind of put right here on the uh, on the wall, so that way the door butts up to it, and then some foam. Uh, this is all I had with me. It's really thin stuff, so I'm gonna get some heavier heavier duty foam for that. I do have to pull it closed with my finger a little bit. I'm thinking about doing what I did on the bottom of the door and doing it all the way around the other side and the top. And uh, anyway. This is the room. I got a uh, Rockwell insulation installed in here and the two by four studs. And then I did the foam board, two inch foam board. Um, that's just a uh, sanitizing solution like uh, you use for when you make beer. It's uh, what I use to clean my stainless steel table. I just made a batch of sausage in here yesterday. Uh, everything. It's nice and cool in here. I got my plug cover I still need to put on. That's another plug cover outlet. Uh, and then up there, where that is taped up right there, that ties into the switch that feeds the light in here. I left, uh, that's got a cover on it. And I've got it available if at some point I decide to put LED lights all around here. So that's what I've got for my insulation you know between the two by fours to the hardy board that i put up and that's actually just it was parked under a tree sitting on the trailer for a day before i got it installed uh i didn't do a uh, cool bot i did this thing called an ink bird it works very similar to a cool bot but it costs 35 dollars versus $350, you should set your temperature whenever, so like right now it's set for 45, until it gets to 45 degrees, that light up there will kick on. When it drops below 45, that light will shut off. And this is my thermometer sensor for the air conditioning unit. And then this is the sensing line right here that comes in off of the ink bird comes in through right here and uh basically that senses what the actual temperature is and then tricks the window unit you know heat up that uh sensor up there and keep it above you know the 60 degrees or whatever that the air conditioner is actually set at to cool it down uh, i ran it down to 40 degrees ran it overnight while i had the uh, sausage in here and uh, 
Anyway, my well does come into here. Uh, there wasn't much I could do about it. Uh, I don't really like the way this ended up being with my water lines. I'll probably move my water filter over to this side and keep the little on-demand water heater up there. Anyway, it uh, comes through. Got a 10 micron filter and then my cold goes to a little water hose. The cold water coming into the on-demand water heater and that's a small one. It's not really meant to for my purpose is basically going to be to have warm water in a sink and that'll provide it and right now it's just got a uh, hose fitting on it i still got a i still got to install a sink on here and then this was an old bathroom so there's the toilet drain i need to get a that covered up and then i've got where the shower drain was uh eventually it just kind of turned into where every time I'd sweep it, I just swept it into there. But I gotta do some cut, clean that out, cut it out, and then put my drain in, and then pour some concrete to where it slopes down to the drain. I uh, did a little bit of trim work. I taped all my seams. I bought some uh, thin strips of wood to put up there, you know, across some seams. Went to put it up, and I just didn't really care for the way it looked because there was tape six now and i don't know I, I may end up doing it at some point not right now it's not a uh huge concern for me i gotta get up in the attic and tighten these bolts up a little bit more um got a little bit of space so that goes through the attic and then in the attic i've got it sitting on a two by six up top in the attic so that way it uh spreads that load across uh that entire space and then on each side i've got uh three two by fours holding that two by six up that run up and down here so i've got really good weight distribution on pretty much any way i could come up with it uh everything came out good there's a lot of work it was busy uh one thing on here, just go ahead and take those, don't do the nails I did. I did one and I figured, you know what? It's gonna be a lot easier just to do the screws. I'm pretty good with a hammer most of the time, but at the end of a long day, you do miss. And I didn't want to tear everything up. So that's the only one that I did like that with a hammer. Uh, anyway, the ink bird. $35, hell counting my, my little light and all that stuff. Call it $45 versus $350 for a cool butt. Huge fan of that. It's worked, done everything I've wished for it to do. Uh, I do have this right here. I was monitoring my temperature at different points. Um, I did see it pull down to like 30 degrees, blowing 30 degree air, maybe a little bit lower. Uh, you know, very impressed with it. Everything's turned out really good. As good as I had hoped for. And, you know, just sealed everything up, cocked everything up. I need to get some more trim to put up there in these, across the top up here. I did my sides, but that was just what I had on hand with me. I didn't go to the store to buy that and wasn't short. I just, uh, that's what I had. And so at some point I'll get around to doing that, but I like to say this thing's about 95% complete. Uh, it's usable. It's a bandsaw I've had for about six years or so, just sitting in the garage for one day when this room was built, I'd be able to use it and you know, I need to get a new belt for it or blade for it. But yeah, I'll tell you what, I love this thing. It's, Turned out real good, a lot of work, really enjoyed it. Oh, up here there's a fan that I got the cut out on and just tuck that back in there. The foam board, so that fan actually plugs in. There's a dang fly in here. Um, the fan plugs in so I can actually use this as a, a smokehouse if I want to or something like that. 
Um, if I find that never use it, I'll just tape that, that foam back up there real good and just leave that how it is. But I didn't want to isolate it and wished I could have had access to it. So anyway, that's kind of the update on it. I wanted to share some information on this.